Hello everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. May the good Lord bless you and guide you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Our topic today is keep speaking victory. Keep speaking victory. You can't speak defeat and have victory. You can't talk sickness and have health. You can't speak lack and struggle and have abundance. The scripture says you will eat the fruit of your words. Our words are set, setting the direction for our lives. If you want to know what you're going to be like five years from now, listen to what you're saying about yourself. I will never get well. I will never break this thing. I will never break this addition. I will never be a right person. Do you know what you're saying? You are producing negativity in your life and which will not help you in everything you are doing. You are prophesizing your future. You can't speak defeat and have victory. You can't talk sickness and have health. You can't speak lack and struggle and have abundance. The scripture says you will eat the fruit of your words. I want you to pay attention about whatever you are saying about, about yourself, about your family, your finances, your health. You are going to become what you are continually saying. That's why it is so important to get in the habit of speaking victory over your life. All through the day, you say, I am blessed, I'm strong, I'm healthy, I'm surrounded by favor. Something good is going to happen to me. The fruit of those words are blessings, favor, abundance. It is not enough to just think it. We can give life to our feet. When you are in tough times, you can complain, talk about the problem. I can't believe this happened. Or you can say, Father, thank you that you are fighting my battles. Thank you that what was meant to harm me, you are turning it to my advantage. Thank you that you always cause me to triumph, that I'm coming out of this better than I was before. Keep on prophesying to yourself. You are your own prophet. You are your own prophet. Don't use your words to describe the situation. Use your words to change the situation. Well, I will never get out of this problem. You are not doing it the right way. You are inviting defeat. Okay? I'm not that talented. You are inviting limitations. If you say that you will never accomplish any of your good dreams, you say that you don't have connections, you are inviting mediocrity. You need to send out some new invitations you may be struggling with de struggling with depression your report should be this is only temporary this is not who i am i'm free i'm happy i have a bright future that dream may look too big but i know with god all things are possible new doors are about to open good breaks are looking for me divine connections the right people are headed my way amen yes Paul said in the book of Ephesians 4.29, he said, Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those that hear them. One person that hears your words is you. They go out of your mouth and back into your own ears. If you hear them long enough, they will take root in your spirit. You believe what you say about yourself more than what anyone else says. There is nothing more powerful than you speaking victory over your own life. Okay? Victory matters. You know? The whole time I was, I was just saying to myself, I normally do this. I always feel confident. And I know that in everything God is doing for me, I am the child of God. I will never open my mouth to say negativity in my life or negative things in my life no because god is with me always the book of james chapter 3 says it compares the tongue to the ruder of a sheep verse 4 says although a sheep is large and driven by strong winds 
It is steered by a small rudder wherever the pilot wants it to go. It is the same way with the thong. Even though it's a small part of the body, it's tearing your life. What you're saying is determining which direction you go. The good news is you have control over the rudder. You, are contr- you have your control over your tongue. Are you standing your words out in the direction you want your life to go? I don't think I'm going to get well. The medical report doesn't look good. No, don't say that. Why don't you say what God says about you? God is restoring your health back in, unto me. By his stripes I'm healed. I will live and not die. Amen. Just always confess good things. Always be in agreement with God. He said you are blessed. Are you saying something else? He said you are fearfully and wonderfully made. He said you are a masterpiece, crowned with favor. Are you calling yourself inferior, weak, not attractive? Start declaring what he promised. Father, you said even in famine, the righteous will have more than enough. You said whatever I put my hands to will prosper and succeed. You said because I am a giver, you will open the windows of heaven, pour out blessings that I cannot contain. When someone asks you how you are doing, don't go into all troubles. How bad it is. Keep your ship going in the right direction. I'm strong. I'm blessed. In Jesus' name, think about a ship. It can be carrying very valuable cargo, oil, minerals, equipment. But all that valuable cargo is at the mercy of the small ruder of the ship. If the captain didn't steer the ship the proper way, or if the ruder wasn't in the right position, the ship would have never make it to the intended destination. The cargo would all go to waste in the same way you are carrying valuable cargo. When God, when God breathed his life into you, he puts gifts, talents, potential. He has he have seeds of greatness in you. You are destined to leave your mark, to take your family to a new level. The question is not text. Your ship is fully loaded. The question is, are you going to keep your ruder going in the right direction? Are you going to keep speaking victory, abundance, favor, new levels? Or are you going to take like you are an, an average i can't get ahead i never get any good breaks these additions have been in my family line for years no please you are not being limited by your circumstances you have been limited by your words when you speak victory you are moving forward victory when you speak health you are moving towards health when you speak abundance overflow more than enough you are moving towards abundance here's the key you have to speak it before you see it yes this is what faith is all about the scripture says let the weak say i'm strong you may not feel strong but when you say i'm strong you are moving towards strength you may be fighting an illness but when you say i'm healthy you are moving towards health Perhaps you feel struck in your career, seems like you have reached your limits. But when you say, new doors are about to open, something good is going to happen to me. God is taking me from glory to glory. You are moving towards new levels, favor, something that you have never seen. Are you steering your ship in the direction you want your life to go? Your tongue is important. Use your tongue for blessing, increase, abundance. These are the things you will use your mouth, your tongue to do. In the scripture, God told Jeremiah that he was going to become a great prophet and speak to nations. Jeremiah was young and afraid. He didn't feel qualified. He didn't come from an influential family. The first thing he said was, God, I can't speak to nations. I'm too young. I wouldn't know what to say. God could have said jeremiah i understand this seems over your head don't worry i'm going to help you told him to stand up he knew if jeremiah is going to speak negative words, that god knew you more than you know yourself okay please use your voice very well use your tongue very well and god will lead you through in jesus name amen (laughs) 